you're watching 8-bit days a week and we're gonna do a play test now of Star Gladiator this is uh, the fighting game from Capcom weapon based futuristic and um, let's see how well it runs on a PlayStation classic and as always I will just enable the show FPS. Other than that, no more tweaking. Let's see how it goes by default settings. And um, as usual, as with the fighting games, two-player games at least, you cannot actually play this on two-player unless you have a USB hub. or if you are able to load the game using the internal storage. Anyway, enough with the intro sequence there. Let's go get into the game. So far, so good. No sound or graphic issues. It's not... Hmm. I'm thinking it's not as smooth as I remember though. Frame rate rate frame rate is uh, stable. Once again, it's possible to improve the performance of this if you would uh, maybe tweak around the frame skipping. I normally set things to auto, I mean to zero. Turn, basically turning off the frame skipping because most of the time it would run smoother unless of course it was really a graphically intense game but for this one while the game may be running at a nice speed there the smoothness of it is uh, kind of a concern there. I'm not sure if you're able to discern it on the video playback, but there definitely is something going on that's not nice here. Ending my lightsaber there. And I, I always liked this game. It wasn't um, as well received as the other Capcom 3D fighters. Like uh, rival schools, or even the uh, Arika developed Street Fighter EX. But um, I always like this one, especially the sequel, Plasma Sword, on the Dreamcast. Check out my older videos for gameplay footage of that. Looks like I'm dying. Okay. Uh. Alright, let's try other characters. If um, you were playing Street Fighter V and you're wondering where that uh, crossover costume Chun-Li has came from, it's actually from this game, and you're looking at it right now, June. I'm not really my best character. In fact, I'm not, I don't even know how to really use 
this one. Uh, I'm just testing it out. Cheese win there, but the win is a win. Oh, man, the AI is a lot more unforgiving than I remember. <laughs> anyway. Let's try it one more. This time I'm gonna go with... Um, uh, gore. Just because... He can... Grow. Like, really crazy. And let's see if... Having a very large model there would affect the performance uh, I mean the game performance at least not my um, gameplay performance At least the performance doesn't take a hit when I'm uh, extra large like this, filling up the screen. But as I mentioned, I immediately saw that there was, um, uh, how do we say it? Concern about the smoothness of the gameplay, the graphics, the video output. Okay, bring out. Makes his other attack practically useless because he swings too high when he's too big. I have to crouch actually. Alright. A little lame laming out there. So other than the, other than the like, uh, sort of choppiness there, I don't see any other uh, big issue regarding this game. Oh no! There's no no graphical glitches, everything seems to display okay. Geralt reminds me of uh, Dudley, I guess. They seem to have uh, common character design. Sort of like Hayato with uh, Ryu. And of course I lost there. Not my best game yet, but um, still a lot of fun.
And um, that's it for Star Gladiator running on the PlayStation Classic. If you're watching it bit days a week, please like, comment, and subscribe. Game over. And watch for more videos of other games. I'll see you in the next video.